I'm going to play out a scenario and I want you to tell me whether this is something that has happened to you. Okay. So let's say you have a model. Just pretend there's like, like over a hundred parts over here. So this is our beautiful model, right? And so you take all these parts, you know, you, you model them like this. Um, and you're a beginner. You have no idea how anything works, right? So you're like, yay, now I have a model. But then the issue is when you actually play the game, what happens is that the parts aren't modeled together, right? Like they, they, they aren't connected together. So, you know, as you can see, the parts just completely separate. So you're like, okay, like, what do I do now? And then that's when you end up learning about like, you know, weld constraints. And now you have to do this whole thing where like you add a weld constraint for every part. And then you have to like attach it to a primary part. So that's all stupid and that's all boring. Okay. So what I've done is for you, I've made a, a free module script. So you can go to my Discord server. It's in the description. Uh, it's like the, the free module um, channel or something like that. So let me just show how it works. It's very simple. It only has two functions. Okay. So I'm going to, how do I, how do I insert a file? Let's see. Auto welder module. There we go. <clears throat> yeah. So this is our module. So I'm going to make a script and then just put the module inside of here. Um, and then inside the script, we'll just say local module is equal to require script dot auto welder module. Okay. So here's how this works. There are two functions, auto weld and auto unweld. Fairly simple. For auto weld, you need to give it the actual model, right? And an optional parent, right? So, so, you, so you tell it like, okay, this is the model. And then like, if you want to change the model's parent as well, you can do it here, right? What auto unweld does is, uh, or needs, is also the model. And then a Boolean, so a true or false, whether you want to keep the welds, so like keep the item, but like just disconnect, you know, like it from the parts. Um, or if you don't set this to true, it's gonna like destroy all the welds. So let me show you what I mean, okay? We have our model over here. And so I'll say auto weld. Um, I'll actually make a variable for it. Local model is equal to workspace, work for child, model. There we go, okay. So auto weld, so I give it the model. And the parent, it like if you don't set the parent to anything, it doesn't change it. So I'm 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 okay with it being in the in the workspace, right? So if I run the game right now, okay. So yeah, model doesn't have a primary part, so I forgot about that. So I, I made the module script and I forgot. How this module script works is that it does a couple security checks, right? So I believe number one, like it like it has to be a model, right? Number two, the model has to have a primary part, and number three the model needs to have enough parts. So if the model only has one part, well then you can't really weld that one part to anything, right? So it needs to have at least two parts. It needs to be a model and it needs to have a primary part. So let's make the primary part this bottom one. Okay, so, so yeah, I'll make the model's primary part equal to this third part over here. Awesome, there we go. And so now if I run the game, there we go. As you can see, it's all welded. So how it works is it takes a primary part and then it just adds all of the weld constraints inside of that primary part. And then for every weld constraint, part zero is going to be the primary part and part one is going to be like all of the other parts, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, and if I wanted to, again, make the parent something different, like, I don't know, game dot um, replicated storage, I could do this, right? So then it's going to, yeah, and then it's going to weld it and then it's going to put it inside replicated storage. So then we have auto unweld. Auto unweld effectively just, you know, so I'll, I'll do wait four seconds and then I'll just say module auto unweld. Okay. So it needs the model. So I'll say model and then keep all welds. So if you, if you just leave this blank, um, it's going to just like destroy all the welds. So it's going to delete the weld items. If you set this to true, um, so if it's anything other than true, it's going to delete them. If you set this to true, then, you know, if there is a weld constraint, it's not going to delete it. It's just going to set part zero and part one to be nil. Okay. So it's going to disconnect the weld constraint from the parts, but it's still going to keep it as an item. So yeah, so auto unweld. Let's wait three seconds. Um, so yeah, if I run this right now, so it's going to weld the, the model. And then it's going to, yeah, there we go. And then it unwelds it. And as you can see, we don't have the welds anymore, right? If I were to set it to true, so keep all the welds, if, if I were to set this to true, then it would still have the same, you know, function, but it wouldn't delete the welds. So the welds still exist, but they're just not connected, right? 
so yeah so that's a nice little module you know you can change it to your will if you want you know if you want to add some new function or if you don't like how something works you know feel free to change it again it's in the discord you know so go to the description check it out uh quick course plug in the description comments i don't know i'll just i'll put it somewhere um and yeah we are back to basics thank you for watching